guys, Rabbit Cheek Girl here again with another video. And I know it's pretty loud because the birds are real happy right now. But I have a lot of stuff, a lot of cool stuff happening. Uh, my face is red because we have a heating lamp going on. We have had a lot of animals, guys. A lot of animals. I did a video uh, with my cockatiels and my parakeets. But then after that, guess what? I'm a little girl. Look at her face. <laughs> uh, the pet store, uh, since we're certified uh, and we can, you know, uh, sell animals and livestock and all that kind of stuff. We have our website. We have our Facebook website. Um, we're full of stuff, okay? So, they reached out to us and they want us to start raising rabbits again. We got some new rabbits. We got some rebreeding stock. We got some quails. Because they reached to us again about quails. We started raising quails now. We have a two week old baby chicks. I'm sorry, I know it's kind of loud here. It's kind of like hectic because of the birds over here. Uh, this kid doesn't have nothing. But um, I'm going to show you guys. So today uh, we're going to build up this incubator because we're um, hatching some quail eggs. Hey, what's up, mama? Hey, mama. <laughs> so this is where we have our little. Um, Quails, they're two weeks old, but we're not going to focus on them right now. We're going to focus on this incubator. This incubator I've used, sorry, this is my daughter. She's going to go inside. So this is the Mark, where is it at? It's all Little Giant Incubator. So this is the Little Giant. I've used this incubator in the past and it's worked perfectly for me. So, here it is. Um, right now, as you can see, 68, so that's really, really down. Um, we want this to be at least 99.5, and that'll be cool. We do have some hatching eggs that we are planning on hatching. Uh, so, we're just going to, we're setting this up first. We're probably going to put the hatching eggs maybe tomorrow. It all depends how fast this is, but maybe tomorrow because we need... I'm sorry guys, why do you have a battery? We need um, to make sure this temperature is fine for the quail eggs. So right now the bird room is a bit messy. So you guys can tell. Everything, I have everything right here, you know, stocked here for the quails. So right now it's pretty messy as you can tell. Look, hangers everywhere. And then we have the egg turner right there. It's pretty messy, but uh, we're going to set it up. This is today I have to work. So, you know, I don't have a lot of time to do that. But these are the quail eggs. And we got them from, I'm not sure where we got them from. I think it's called um, Green Acres Family Farm or something. We got these on Facebook from their website. So we got 20 quail eggs. But they gave us four extra. So we have 24 quail eggs here. Um, so shout out to them. Pretty cool. I've heard a lot of good stuff about this. Um this farm here so we're gonna do these quote eggs and hopefully they all hatch so well we'll see this is a little setup that i have here for my two week old caternix quails um so basically it's just the feeder the water bowl uh not the water bowl the water thing whatever it's called and then the heating lamp up here just a little setup i did right here real fast for them so i have here 17 chicks and they're all doing pretty good this is a one of those gallon things. Um, but yeah, they're doing pretty good. I like the brooder, the brooder that I made here. Uh, it's pretty cool. I got to change it out of here a little bit. Yeah, so right here next to it, we have the, um, the incubator. As you can see, it raised up a little bit to 73.9. So we're gonna let it, you know, be a good temperature. And then we're gonna, you know, do all the things where we have to do. But as of right now, um, I'm not in a rush to put them today because they were just laid like maybe two, three days ago or something. So always when you're putting up quells, you got to make sure there are at least uh, seven days before you put it in. Because if you do it at eight, uh, eight days of, of them um, laid, um, the you know fertility rate drops tremendously. So you want to make sure they're, uh, you know, freshly for they can have a good rate of hatching and stuff i've been raising quails uh i think i've stopped raising quails like maybe two years ago 
but I know what you know what 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 I have to expect and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, so yeah, so um, these right here are from um, I'm not sure where we got these from. I think we got them. I don't I don't remember the name, but it's uh, Shire or something like that. It was a website. Ugh, I'm not real sure, but yeah. So they're right there. And our our uh. You guys gonna see where we're gonna put them. It's really cool. I don't want to give it away just yet, but you guys will see where I'm gonna put them. Really good setup that I have outside for them. All right, right now everything kind of is calm. It's more calm in here. When I start talking, the birds go crazy, and it's so funny. But um, I know you guys wanted to see the birds, so I'll show you the birds right now. But um, yeah, so we're just waiting for this to set up. It's been like 20 minutes or so. Um. But I'm planning to put the eggs today just because um, they, I mean, they, they're, I'm not in a rush to put them in, you know what I mean? But um, I'd rather have them now to have a better, you know, uh, hatching rate. I'm sure it'll be, it'll be fine if I just leave them there for like two or three more days. But, you know, I bought this brand new too. Uh, this came with the box and everything. But um, I'm sure to put it in now for when these birds are ready. Uh, to get out of the brooder, They're, I'm gonna get them out of the brooder for like another two weeks or something, like four and a half weeks old. I'm gonna take them out and I'll put them in their little enclosure that I have out there for them, which I won't show you just yet because it's a surprise. It's pretty cool. I love it. Um, so I'm just gonna uh, put the eggs now and they they'll be ready to go to the brooder when these guys are ready to get out outside. Um, so yeah, I will show you guys the birds real fast and um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy them. Right, so these are the birds. Uh, this is the big old cage for the cockatiels. I have their nesting box right here, and they're right here. Looking pretty cute. So the one on the right, I believe is the male. The one on the left, which is down here, I believe is the female. If you guys know more about it, I will DNA test them just to make sure because, you know, I don't want to have two males and nothing's gonna happen you know but this is their cage pretty much this is how there it is um over here over here is the parakeet enclosure so the parakeet enclosure in here this is a long cage as you can tell um we have to do we have to clean out the bottom look at that it's just pure seeds about about from them and stuff we have to clean that up and it, and it looks dark because actually the see this is dark so you can, you can tell see it stands up so it's dark that's why it looks so black down there um so we here we have how many parakeets we have we have i believe we have 10 parakeets in this cage it's not a small cage it's a pretty good sized cage pretty good size cage for them they just all like to be up here um as you guys can tell you know that's the nesting box up there and then everything is clean i literally just cleaned out the water but as you can see it's had kind of dirty again i fed them this morning um oh shoot <laughs> i don't even know where i'm going so yeah these are the birds here uh what i'm trying to do here is see who is bonded with who and then I'll change them with another cage. Over here I have, um, let me put this in there. I can't even put it in there. All right. Over here on this other side, I have this uh, male. The male is the one in the right and the female is the one in the left. Um, these are mature female and male. So they're ready to have a baby. Now I've been looking for more nest box everywhere, but I don't know where it is. This came with the other parakeet, so I just might as well put it there for now. Uh, but I, that won't be the nest box, you know. But it's just something for right now, you know. That's the feed. That's the water over there. Everything clean. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much what we have with the birds here. Um, they're pretty cool birds. They really like to. Do a lot of stuff, a lot of noise. Uh, pretty cool birds, though, not gonna lie. I really enjoy having them and everything. They're pretty cool birds and stuff. As you can see, it's a long, it's a long cage. It's not small. 
That one's a long cage too from the bottom. See? It's a long cage too. This one's a big cage also. You guys can see that. So let's see here. Let's see where we at. Oh, oh, we're getting there. 90.8. We're getting there. Slowly, slowly. I want to make sure it's temp ready. 99.5. Make sure the temp is ready to put some eggs in there. So I'm just waiting for that to happen. Alrighty, so I figured while this is going and stuff, it's almost there. Um, I'm going to put this um, egg turner. I was going to go for the quail egg turner, but there was none there available at the moment. So I just decided to go with this one here. Um, so I was going to go with this one right here. You see right there? Quail egg turner, whatever. So I went with this one. I've used this one in the past with quails. Uh, you know, everything went fine. It's not that it's bad or anything. It's pretty good. It's not bad or anything. But, um, yeah. So I'm just going to open this real quick. And then I will show you how I'm going to set it up. See, this is how it comes out. It's plastic right here. And I remember before... Um, there was no, um, everything was included in there before, but I guess not anymore. You have to buy everything so separate, you know? But before, everything was already in there, in the, that incubator. But now, I guess you have to buy everything separate, which is kind of dumb, but it's okay. <laughs> so that's how it looks like this. Just pretty set up, pretty simple. We're going to put this in there, and then I'll take it from there. All right, so I opened it up and just put the egg turner in there, as you can tell. Uh, the temperature dropped a little bit, but that's fine. It's going to pick up again. Now I'm just going to grab this cord here. And I'm going to push this cord in here. All right. There it is. So it should start rotating a little bit the things if I can see them rotate just give it a minute it will do it so um the humidity in this is 50 51 which is awesome uh right now it's pretty warm outside it's not really that cold so um with the humidity is pretty good um we're still gonna put a little bit of water in here just to make sure there's water in there because you always have to make sure there's water so are we gonna do that um i use one of these turkey thing whatever it's called and i just to put water in there i don't want to wet any eggs so that's how we do it so i'm just gonna put this a little bit in there so as you can tell, over here in this side, there is some numbers. I'm not sure if you can read them, but that's where you would put the water in there. All right. So basically, we're just going to leave it alone. And for a couple minutes, just make sure this one goes up a little bit more. And then we'll put the eggs in there. Uh, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it. So see you guys when we put starting the eggs in there. All right. It's been... Maybe like 30 minutes or something. 25, 30 minutes. Let's see how it is. All right. That's hella good. All righty. So now we're going to set the eggs in there. And it's going to be so, so cool watching. 24 eggs in there. It's been a long time since I've seen those eggs in there. <laughs> All righty. Now it's time to open up the incubator. Oh, it's nice and, and warm in there. Stop, stop. Do you see, guys? It's it's switching. So I'm going to try to get one. I can't even grab one. Try to get one of these eggs. And I can't even grab them. What in the heck is going on here? Oh, here we go. All right. See those beautiful eggs, guys? No cracks. No nothing. Beautiful eggs. So now we're just going to place it right down here. And then we're going to just do that. Alrighty, there and there already. We're going to close it up. Hold on, hold on. He's trying to help me. Okay, is it close? No, no, no. Hold on. I don't know what he's doing. There we go. Now it's close. 
All right. So now this is closed. I see the temperature dropped a lot, but the eggs are in there. And now we just wait. <clears throat> we just wait until day 14. And then we're going to candle them and take their, um, no, no, no. Take the egg turner out of it. He's so curious. <laughs> so then, um, yeah. So wait until day 14, guys. Alright guys, so today is day 14, let me just look at my, um, I have my notes here on my phone that it tells me exactly when I'm going to take the turner out. Okay, 12 eggs. I put them on a 29 of last month, which is March, and take out egg turner for 11. And today we're April 11, so... Today is day 14, and today we're going to take the egg turner out. But I want to show you guys what I changed here in the bird room. I changed a lot of stuff, so I'll show you guys around. Alright, so this is this is the door. Okay, this is the door. We walk in. Okay, we see here are the quails. As you can see, they don't have no more light. Uh, in the bottom, I just put... Um, and I literally changed this yesterday, and look how messy it is now. It is definitely time to get these quail out of here. They are like four weeks and like two days old, so it's definitely time to get them out. I already, um, I already did their enclosure, and it's just that the weather right now is pretty bad. It's like snowing, and it's like really bad. You can see through the window, but it's like really bad. So probably tomorrow, <clears throat> I'm gonna put them out. Cause look, I literally changed this yesterday, and look how ugly it is again. They're definitely so crowded in here. We have to, you know, we have to um, get these guys out as soon as possible. So probably to, by tomorrow, the, or I'm going to take them out. But over here, we have um, just basically the, the stuff for the birds and all kinds of stuff. And a tow for transporting the quails outside. So this is what it is. You guys can see right there. That's what it is. Just hole in there. This is the feed. For the uh, birds, this is the cage. There's another cage. Uh, this is the cockatiels. So I see you can change. I changed them all. So that's the lover birds. We got new lover birds. Then the parakeets over there. Then the cockatiels. So everything is pretty good. But we're not focusing on that right now. We're focusing. Oh shoot. <laughs> we're focusing on these little babies down here. These are babies, so it's 55 humidity and 98.9. So we're gonna have to get this. Um, I know, guys, it's pretty much a mess here in the bottom. See, I literally cleaned this yesterday, but um, they're very messy. So, <clears throat> so um, we have to put this humidity to be 70% humidity, um, and we gotta make sure it stays like that because that's that's uh what the the eggs you know they're really soft for them to go through it so that's why the humidity is very important in the last couple of days so so that's what we're going to be doing um i do want to say real quick though that there was one day one night that my 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 um my my uh, what are these called this thing whatever it's called this right here got disconnected so they got disconnected and they were all night with no heat no nothing because they got disconnected so i'm a bit scared that they're not gonna hatch just because they, they got disconnected i don't know if it was my kids probably was my kids oh my goodness you guys are loud probably was my kids so i'm a bit worried that they're gonna hatch or not maybe they won't who knows I will count them though right now, just making sure they actually hatch. Uh, or just making sure they're actually something in there. That will give me a little bit of hope. Uh, so yeah, let's begin. So you want you want to do this as quick as possible. So I'm going to show you. Oh, it's really warm in there. So I'm just going to show you me digging out the eggs. Um, <clears throat> and then put them over here. We'll put them right here. So it's gonna be real quick, okay? 
All right, so these are the ones that I feel there's something or maybe forming something, and these are definitely not fertile at all. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven out of 24 eggs that are pretty much not, but there's nothing. I don't see nothing in there. But um, I'm trying to be quickly as I possibly can, taking this out. And then we're gonna put some more water, just so the humidity can be more. Put some more water. Okay. All right. And then we're just gonna put the eggs in there. Really nice and. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, guys. So we're gonna just putting the eggs. And we try to put them as close as possible. It's just um, make the other chicks hatch. A like you know a um you now that it's time to come out. So that's why sometimes it's better to put them together because you know it's a motivation for the, for other chicks to hatch and stuff. That's what I think. Right now I'm putting on the eggs that I feel that they have something in there. I mean, I'll be happy with at least five chicks, you know, honestly. This is like my third time or second time hatching quail eggs. So I'm not really an expert, but I try to do my best. Okay, I'm just putting these in guys in there. I put already water in there. I'm going to put warm, warm water in there. And this is locked down, so we're not going to open this anymore. So make sure you put enough water. All right, now I'm putting these these ones that are not fertile, but I'm still gonna put them because why not? All right, so now we're gonna put these on top. This incubator is pretty good, guys, but I don't really recommend it to be honest. Next time, I'm gonna go with a different um, incubator because. I don't really like this incubator to be honest. And I know this incubator looks like crap because my birds crap on it. <laughs> and it's already next to the cage. You can see. Um, but there they are, guys. So this humidity is pretty low right now. We want it at least 70. But it's going to get there, surely. It's going to get there. So we're not going to open it anymore. We're not going to play with there, play around anymore. I already put like a. There's much water in there. It's pretty bad, but I put enough water in there, so they should be okay. Um. Yeah, so it's gonna pick up, but about two more days, they should be hatching. If any is gonna hatch, I don't know, guys. I'm not real, real. I don't know. I'm more, I'm a bit worried because of that night that there were no heat or anything. I'm a bit worried. So, so as you can see, the humidity is rising up. 66 now. But with this thing, you never know, guys. It's always moving and stuff. Or 56. Never mind. Alright, so. Alright, I'll see you guys in two more days or whenever they start hatching, if they even hatch. Alright, guys. So, today is day 21. So, it's, I don't know, I think because of where I told you guys about, um, the, the, um, what's it called? The thing, um, being off, so that's why I think, I think that, you know, the quells kind of got, you know, it, it's going to take a little bit longer just because, um, my incubator got shut off somehow, so the eggs, um, the quails just started hatching today. Today is the 21st. Well, not the 21st. Today is the the 18th. But today is the 21st day of being in an incubator. And they normally would hatch day 16, day 18. But no, these guys hatch in day, day, um, day 21. So there they are. We have one, two, three, four. I think we have five, five babies. There's one over here too. I'm not sure you guys can see that one over there. So right there, there's five babies right now. 
three, four, five. And then there's one over here that is trying to hatch. I'll show you guys over here. But this baby over here is trying to hatch. You can see right there. It's trying to hatch. Um, but yeah, I made sure there was a good, um, I made sure there was a good, um, good water. Even though there's something that about the little giant that I don't really like is about the water that we have to open it every time we want to put water in there. The humidity right now is 65, uh, so that's really good. But there's something about I don't like how it is because there's some there's been babies that have drowned in these incubators. Um, so I'm just you know paying attention. But um, yeah. So we have another one beeping over here. So that will be six once that one hatches. But that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Like always, do what you do. And like always, God bless. Goodbye.